Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Cam, together we can game. In the last episode, we made our way, picked up the crowbar, and in this episode, we're going to be going to the recreational area, from what I can remember. See if food does anything. So it seems to do things, it gave us one health, let's see if we get anything in here. We only get one, but that actually kind of helps a little bit. Uh, someone left something in the microwave. I believe this is where all of the stats, uh things are so maybe we can actually go in here Guthrie seems to have ammo so I guess we're gonna get a gun soon which is good Freeman it's us again and we have this I think this is we have another 15 percent 30 percent of the suit I don't really understand what that means but happy I went down here uh, I don't think there's anything else we can collect I think that was all we were going to get from, from, who is this actually? Guthrie. Guthrie being a very, very good patriot, having an American flag in his, in his thing there. Let's see if we can, ah, that would have been a cool feature. To be able to use the fire extinguisher, I don't know, that would be a little nice thing they could have added. I don't think we can get anything else in here, but I'm just going to see. Actually, yes we can. I might need to do this a little bit little bit to get our health back up. I don't know how many times you can really... Oh wow, you can seem to do this a lot. I'm going to say at least a 20. Ah, uh, it's... Oh god, that was much more effective. Can I actually utilize this though? Appears not. That's cool though, let's see if this does the same. I don't know, that was kind of cool. To break them. But I guess it doesn't do anything. I don't know, it's kind of cool interaction with the environment. Let's see what we have here. I uh, don't think we can really go anywhere this way. No. Things falling everywhere. So let's go down here. crouch and see what's down here. Oh shit! Can honestly say was not expecting that. Uh lesson learned. Lesson learned. Okay now. How do I avoid that? I guess maybe I should probably figure that one out before I just go in fully charging. I don't know, maybe I'm not supposed to be going there at all? Can't seem to attack it. Okay, I had to wait a little bit. Let's attack whatever that is. Do we just hold E? Oh, that is nice. These first aid kit stations are nice. Nothing seems to be on them. More things exploding. This is, I actually like how the environment is dangerous. Like how you, like dying from it, that's actually something that's not too heavily implemented in things today. So I don't know, it's kind of interesting to see. Though this duck seems a little tiny for any man to kind of actually go through. Can I... Uh, sorry, dude. Looks like you're on your own. Can't seem to go in there. I guess he'll just... Oh, God. It's brutal. That man isn't even a man. He's just a... Guess we can't go in there either. I hear gunfire. There, finally, a pistol. Gonna be healing here, for sure. Back to... Oh, wow. So both mouse, both mouse buttons seem to seem to do the same function of activating. So that it activates the pistol. That's not something I was expecting. Oh, that still works. That's I'm gonna actually switch to the. There we go. I don't know what those do, but pistol seems to take them out pretty fairly. Let's 
doesn't seem to be any reason to search, so I'm not going to try to focus on that too much. I don't even know what they're called. I don't know what that was. That was a scientist thing. I don't know where he actually came from there. Okay, sorry, I just want to... I want to absorb the world. Okay, they're taken care of. Is there a way to reload? Uh, of course. Pretty basic in controls. But I'm guessing maybe the- Oh, shit! This isn't a very bad first-person shooter at all, especially all things considered for the time. I know a lot of people give Halo the the best first-person shooter around this time, but this is actually holding up pretty fairly. Uh, I don't know if there's any if there's any reason I can search around here, if there's any benefit. Probably shouldn't be wasting ammo as much as I am, but... Yeah. You're dead. Is that even... Okay, it is damaging. What the... Oh, screw you, dude. Aha! There was a reason to go over here. More ammo. Maybe I should play with the flashlight. And in here, there's... Something. Ah, this is where I'm supposed to go. But I don't know, there's another door here. Can I actually... No. Alright. I heard something. At least I thought so. Let's just continue. Climb up this ladder. I'm gonna switch. Oh, shit. I like how uh, the ranged weapons actually work pretty fairly. Come on. There we go. And the suit is actually very, uh, very intelligent and able to tell us what is happening. Get off him. Is there anything for shooting in the head or is it... It seems to be the same. Actually, maybe shooting in the head does a little bit more. Access denied. Access denied. I would love to go in there. I don't believe there's a way for us to go in. Hold on. That would have been awesome. Ah, uh, there's first aid in there. I believe I believe maybe we could have gone in there. I don't know. Is there anything we can kind of do? I don't know. Guess not. Hmm. That would have been awesome. I think the suit needs to be powered looking at it. Uh, I think that might have been the... You. Oh. Oh, thank you. Now follow me. I need your help. The scientists actually are not in the most helpful, but pretty helpful. And I believe here's how we enter. Oh, that's happening. Might as well reload. Thank you. Oh, wow. Did we get another pistol? Oh, wow. No, we didn't. I guess maybe if we missed the first one, that's where it was. Pretty fair to give us first aid in here. And, uh... Can you only hold ten? So, it's pretty cool. We have the key binding. Why it defaults that to four though is beyond me. Yes. Let's go. Alright then, we have a new ally. Gotta remember that both mouse buttons do the same function. Come on. Uh how did we Oh down here. Can the scientists climb though? I don't I oh. refuse to go another step. Uh apparently not. <laughs> I'm led to believe we can go in here. Hmm.
apparently maybe this is where we're supposed to go after a little good bit. Uh, down here maybe, I don't know. Oh, shit. Hmm. There's a valve, which, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> valve in a valve game. I've punned. We can swim underwater. Apparently. I'm gonna guess we can't breathe underwater. Because uh, he's a human, Gordon. So. That's right. Ah, I see what we need to do. I get the idea. So, I guess this is like air bubbles or something. And. And here we go. How that fires underwater is beyond me, but I'm not one to argue with with video game logic. Do these security guards have any ammo? Yeah, that's good. That's smart. Lever. I'm, I don't know what they exactly are doing. But I haven't found a need for the grenades yet. Maybe when I see a big enemy. You jerk. It doesn't seem to be like an auto aim or anything, so just kinda. I don't know, yeah, I stand corrected. Kind of does. It's not that good, but. Maybe it's because they're falling at a rate. It's pretty fast. Maybe I should just dodge and serve ammo. Okay. They're much more of a threat here. So, let's make our way to the first aid. Get these out of the way. I'm gonna hold this. Get us back up to... Finally back up to 100. Uh, no auto-reload, it appears. Or not. I don't know, that kind of was a bit lagged, but I guess a lot is going on. Can we break all of this? Because that would be interesting if we can. Or if it's just some of... Oh, just some of these. Hmm. We can move these, which makes me want to believe that there's a reason for that, but I'm going to have to trust my instinct and hope that there isn't. I can't assume anything in Half-Life is what I'm learning. Yep, that's what I get for assuming. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not going that way. As I said that assuming comment, I'm going to reload. Hmm. Don't touch that. And and yet it still has enough power to hit me. I don't know. I think I understand what I need to do. Not that. <laughs> I think what I need to do is kind of platform. Okay, I'm going to hide a little bit. Don't want to hit, get hit by the acid. Okay, I was all right kind of interesting platforming uh, especially here in a first person shooter but I'm not not opposed to it it's actually kind of interesting it's a change any changes tends to be fun more power 30 45 I don't I don't even know what power does but it makes me happy I want to use one of these Let's uh, figure that one out. God. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Don't want to hit that water. Oh my god. I thought that was something to help me, not. Not that. Um. <laughs> Morphing and Minister. 
I don't know if the suit can actually heal myself after a certain power level, but I'll figure that one out in time. I think that's kind of how I have to, like, get across and everything. So I can be in this water, it seems. I think it was because I had no power that I wasn't allowed to be in it. I'm gonna take a guess on that one. Come on. I'm gonna take a guess through here. I'm gonna heal. Alright. And in the next episode, we are going to make our way through that door. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of the ability to have, like, interaction with the terrain, the scientists? I'm really curious. What do you think of Half-Life's ability to do that? All right, I'm going to see you in the next episode. Bye. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart?